everyone, it's Kat and I am back today to update you on my project pan. So uh, this is the September check-in and I'm going to look, I'm going to make some, I'm going to rejig things uh, this month because I have to say like I've been loving makeup recently, which is great. Um, but I'm also getting really sort of impatient with makeup that doesn't work. I'm like, why am I, why am I battling with this? I don't, why? What am I doing? So I'm going to run through the products that I've used up. I'm going to tell you what I'm going to be replacing them out with. And I'm also just going to tell you sort of what I'm taking out, what I'm changing around and why, because there is, there's a little bit of a shake up, not huge, but a little bit. All right. Firstly, I used up my fragrance. This is the Lumira Paradisium and I use this up um, so over a few months and I'm mainly using it up because I could tell that it was starting to go a little bit off Like it was smelling a little bit more alcoholy uh, when it did settle down It was alright, but I could tell it was starting to turn so I use it up. It's done. Hooray uh, What I'm going to be using instead and I love this fragrance. I'm as soon as it's done I'm gonna buy a new one because I love this. It's just that um, this is getting quite old and I have been sort of I was, I was under the impression a little while ago that this was discontinued. It's not. I think it was just out of stock everywhere. Um, but now I've seen it in stock so I can buy it again. It is by Tokyo Milk and it's the dark range. Now this is, it's got black paint on it and this used to be in my handbag and it's starting to scratch off. So it's looking a bit funky, um, but it is everything and nothing. I love this fragrance so much. Like I, it's one of my favorite, like probably top three fragrances of all time and this is my second bottle so um i am happy to use this i'm happy to use it all summer and all spring and as long as i need to uh, it's not like other fragrances where i'm like it's a bit heavy and it's not really me and i'm gonna half use it as a fragrance half use it as a room spray this one i'm not using it as a room spray it's going all on me because i love it. it is currently up to around there so it's quite full again as soon as i thought this was being discontinued i sort of like stopped using it or only used it when I was like going out somewhere where I thought this was, I don't know, I felt like using this. I wasn't using it as a daily one, but now it's going to be daily. And then as soon as it's done, I'm going to buy another one. I, I love this fragrance so much. It's very um, orange sort of notes, but it's also a little bit earthy. And I just think it's, it's almost like a bit sherbety as well. There's something about it. It's like fresh, but nice. I love it. So that one's being uh, welcomed in with open arms into my project. Since my last check-in, this is not a surprise, I used up my little hourglass um, dim light ambient lighting powder. So I'll have it on screen, whereas up to last month, there wasn't much left. I knew that it was going to be done um, and it is completely done. So that's pan. Uh, what I did was I did introduce another powder preemptively um, and it was the Laura Mercier. This is the Invisible Loose Setting Powder in Universal. So it's one of those white um, very, very setting, very finely milled powders. I don't love it. I don't love it. I've tried it in different ways. I've tried mixing it with my base. I've tried putting it under my base. I've obviously tried putting it over my base. I've tried putting it under finishing sprays and hydrating sprays. I've tried everything and I feel like this can ruin my base pretty quickly. The other day I used this um, and I accidentally applied a little bit too much because it picks up very easily on a brush. Um, and it, I had to take my base off and redo my base because it just set it down so dry and cakey that it, if I like did anything like touched it, it was, it was just sort of, I don't know, it was just not, not great. So this was going to be something I wanted to pan, but I've decided instead to give it to someone who wants it. Um, I know my friend Simon really likes Laura Mercier powders. If he wants to try it, he can go for it. Um, I, I, I don't want to struggle with this. It's going to be a long struggle, especially if I use the smallest amount because I don't like it. It's going to take me probably like a battle of a year and I just find myself reaching for different powders. So I'm not going to replace this yet uh, in my project because I don't know what powder I want to focus on at the moment. I've got a couple of other ones in my drawer that I just want to play with. So over the next month, I just want to play with them and see which ones I vibe with, uh, see which ones I want to get rid of because again, I'm becoming, I love makeup and I love wearing makeup and I get excited about makeup that works, but I am getting frustrated at makeup that just doesn't work. And this is one of them. So this is going away. 
Something that I've almost used up um, is my uh, Ultra Glossy Lip by Colourpop in the shade Rattler. Um, I only introduced this, I think, last month, but I honestly didn't have much left. I took out the stopper. I've been using it down the sides. I've actually got like a spatula in there and took out the product and put it so where I can sort of access it a bit better. And I do have some on the wand, but I realistically only have a few applications left. So I thought what I'll do is I'll... <sighs> Do I consider it empty? I'm going to consider this empty, but keep using it until it's enough empty to get rid of it. Um, and I'm going to introduce another ColourPop product. Now I haven't used this in a while. So I, this is a, it's a bit of a risk. Um, this is the So Juicy Plumping Gloss from ColourPop. It's also, it's a nice nude color. Um, the color is She's Here. And I, I, this is easy to pan, not easy to pan because it's a lip gloss and it's nearly full. Like it's up to, we're up to here I'll mark it like at least I can see because it settles but it's easy to get everything out because it's a squeeze tube which I like so I'm going to try to use this over the next month see how I vibe with it um, and if I want to continue using it up like so be it if I don't like it I can chuck it out it's getting old but um, that's what I'm replacing in just a bit of jiggling um, I introduced my NARS uh, tinted smudge proof eyeshadow base in the shade medium last month now the, the, this is getting old. I'm not going to lie. It's getting pretty old. Um, this shade works really, really, really well on me. So that's the shade medium. It suits me. I'm quite fair. Uh, anyway, um, my problem was that throughout the month, uh, I was testing different base products on TikTok. I did share the videos on YouTube. So if you've seen them, you'll know what I'm talking about. But essentially, I've been trying to test base products, see what's what works on my skin, what doesn't work. And I was using a lot of setting spray. And I feel like the setting spray was actually sort of irritating my eyelids. And when I put this on, it like burnt my eyelids. Um, and I think that's a combination of my skin getting inflamed and maybe this being a bit old, but it really has deterred me from wanting to use this. I know it's old, but to know that it's potentially irritating my eyes, I'm going to get rid of this. And <laughs> strangely, I'm going to replace it with the same product in a different shade that I got at the same time as this, um, but I've used this less. So hopefully, I have actually used this a few times in the last month and it, it's fine, it doesn't irritate me. Uh, this is actually in the shade medium dark. Now what I actually really like about this, so this is definitely more medium in my opinion, so that one there. What I love about this is I sometimes use it just as a sort of liquid eyeshadow. So if I want just a matte, defining brown. Um, I really like using this. I also really like using it and then just putting a shimmer over the top because if you blend it into the crease, it's sort of like you use a matte eyeshadow. So I'm sort of going to use this not only as a base, but also as a liquid eyeshadow. And I actually prefer this over the one that suits me more. So I just use that exclusively as an eyeshadow base, whereas I use this one as its own sort of eyeshadow as well. So I'm going to swap it out for this one. I'm going to keep focusing on trying to use this one up and I'm going to say goodbye to the lighter shade that may potentially be irritating my skin. So that one is going. It doesn't irritate my skin. It's just that when my skin is irritated, it really doesn't like it. And that's enough for me to be like, see ya. Another thing I'm gonna jiggle around, um, this, it's not gonna go. So my Kat Von D uh, True Portrait Foundation. Now to be fair, again, I don't know where this, where the base of this product is. Does the container go all the way down to the bottom? Does it stop there at the window? I don't know. Um, this feels like it could just be solid plastic, but I really don't know. When I stand this up, the foundation isn't even at the window. So I don't know. I've been weighing this. I haven't been using this too much this month, to be honest. I've been trying different base products um, and I have used this occasionally, but not as consistently as I could. And in the last couple of weeks, I've actually swapped using this out for using this. Now this I sort of unofficially added into my project. Um, so it's the L'Oreal Infallible Pro Glow. This is a foundation that works really nice, looks really, really beautiful. It was discontinued in Australia a long time ago and it's been kicking around the bottom of my drawer um, just because I like the formula and I kind of thought if I can find something similar, 
like I can compare it and da da da. Um, but it was literally probably down to here and I've started using it because I'm like, I, th I can use this up in a few weeks and I want it gone. So I'm adding this into my project but I feel like in about a week or two, it will be done. Um, and that's when I'll sort of go back to using this one. So I'll have all the weights on the screen of where I'm up to um, this month with this one. But if there's less progress from last month, it's because I've been playing with different things and trying to pan um, other foundations that are actually older than this one. So still in, but I'm adding in something new that is only going to be temporary because it should be done in a couple of weeks. Let's finish off the base products because um, we've t spoken about most of them anyway. Um, Bobbi Brown Vitamin Enriched Face Base. I love this. I love this. I'm Obviously, I've got it in my project. I'm trying to use it up, but I am using it sparingly. I use it every other day, but I don't use a lot of it. A little goes a long way, and it is it does make a really big difference to my base. I feel like when I put this on and, for example, this... Um, with the hydrating base, it looks a lot smoother and actually wears a lot nicer. Without the hydrating base, th this can often look a little bit like scaly, it sort of goes scaly, whereas this stops that. So I love this. As soon as it's done, I'm going to buy it again. Um, I think it's an excellent base, but this one is getting old, so I just want to use it. Um, but I'll have, I think, weights on the screen. I think I weighed it last time. Um, I don't know if I show, like, there's, you can barely see it. There's a little dip in it. But again, I sort of just take a little bit at a time. Like, like, I'll show you how much I sort of use. I sort of like use this much. That's all you sort of need. Dot, 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 dot. Blend it in. It smooths over really nicely. And um, yeah, I smallest amount. Uh, so this is going to take forever, but I'm okay with that because I love it. And again, it, once it goes, I'm, I'm buying it again. This is the Good Apple Concealer. Um, I have been using it fairly consistently. Again, I've actually been using this sometimes as uh, all over foundation because I want to use it up. It's not a bad product. It's just I've got better concealers and um, why have products that you don't love. It's not so bad that I'm like, it's not, it's not this level of bad where I want to get rid of it. It doesn't ruin my base, but um, it's not my favorite concealer by far. So hopefully there's progress this month. Um, I'll have the weights on the screen. Oh, actually, I may as well talk about this as well. Um, this looks like my Shiramira bottle, but inside is MAC Fix Plus and it's the watermelon scent mixed with cherry blossom, I think, something like that. Another one. Um, look, where I'm up to, so <laughs> I used up my Shiromira one, so I have markings on one side, but this is where I'm up to in terms of this product. I will keep going because I've got a little bit left, but I actually don't like this as a spray. I don't know what it is. I feel like the fragrance is a little bit irritating. Um, I generally really like Fix Plus. I like the original. But this sort of scented one, I don't love. How I've been using this is sometimes I'll use it to sort of rehydrate my sponge. Um, so if I've got a sponge that I've been using and it's getting a bit dry, I'll sometimes spray this on my sponge. Um, or if I'm sometimes looking a little bit powdery, I might spray my sponge with it and like dab my sponge on. So I've been using it in a not super conventional way, but I don't love it. So I'm on the I'm borderline wanting to get rid of this, but because I'm so close to it being done, I'm like, oh, do I just get rid of it? I don't know. One thing I've also discovered recently is that, yes, I like hydrating finishing sprays as a way to tone down any powdery look. So if you've just done your makeup and your base is looking quite powdery, if you spray it with a nice mist, it actually does help make your makeup sort of meld with your skin a little bit better and look better. So that's how I like to use hydrating sprays. If I spray too much or if I spray like touch-ups during the day, I've actually found that it makes my makeup wear off quicker. So I, this is not something I like to use just every day because it's actually at the detriment of my base. Um, so I actually might just get rid of this. I think I'm going to get rid of it. It's yeah, I don't love it. I'm going to get rid of it. That's going. I don't know what spray I'm going to put in to replace that. Again, I might take the next month to play around with different sprays. I've got a drawer full of them and most of them are hydrating sprays. So um, I'll find one that I'm happy to use. Um, but that one, yeah, I'm not enjoying. All right, let's talk about cheek color and I've got varying results. Um, the two things that I've seen most progress on is my Life's a Peach blush. 
Um, now I have, I'm using it today. I've been using it most days. Um, I am seeing a little bit of a dent in the pan, which is great. This is a very subtle blush. Like it, you can use a lot and it not show up too much, which means that I can really go quite heavy handed with it. So I have actually been using this quite a lot and the design is pretty much gone now, which is good. And you can see I've got that peachy color is this. I'll have a photo comparison of this on the screen if you wanna see how it, well, how it looks compared to last month. Um, but what I've got on top is my ColourPop. This is the Out of Quartz Super Shock Cheek. Um, this looks like I've been making excellent progress, which I have. I've hit pan, but again, being a mousse sort of putty product, um, you can just maneuver it and hide the pan. <laughs> See, look, bye bye, pan's gone. So I've hit pan and as I'm using it, I do hit the pan, but it does move around. So it's sort of hard to judge progress. One thing that I also find a little bit frustrating about this is that when I do pick it up with like a dense brush to like buff into my cheeks, um, it actually sort of breaks off chunks. So I don't know if this is getting a bit dry or whatnot, but it is definitely best applied with finger. Um, but it just means that it, I sort of, limits my application because I don't always want to just apply it with my finger but it is very pretty like today I put it on with my finger and it does give this beautiful effect so I'm going to keep it in there uh, and I'm going to be determined to use it up by the end of the year so um it doesn't dry out but yeah I've hit pan it's just how much pan I don't know it's not stable like a pressed powder product. I just washed my hands to get all that sort of product off my fingers um, and I washed it with soap and I washed it twice these are still on. These NARS eyeshadow primers, the tinted ones, are very, very good. So using this as a liquid eyeshadow, I've been I've been doing it quite a lot in the last month and I really enjoy it because it, it works. And as it's sort of like just a nice matte blended well base. Um, and yeah, use it on its own, use it under makeup. Like I think it's great. So these these are very nice. I don't think I've made heaps of progress on my palette. Maybe I have, I don't know. Um, probably the main thing is, so this is the Too Faced Born This Way Sunset Stripped. Um, I, I've been using this one most. I'm almost thinking like once I use up this shade, which is my favorite shade of the palette, it's this purpley shade that has this like iridescent gold and it's really beautiful. It's like a one and done eyeshadow. Once that's done, I'm tempted to just throw out the whole palette because that's the main reason I'm using this, to be fair. Uh, I will have comparison photos on the screen. I haven't used it much because I've been testing out the Natasha Denona um, I Need a Nude palette and um, yeah, I've been using other stuff. Did I also use the Glaminatrix one this month? Was that last month? I'm not sure. Uh, anyway, I've been using other eyeshadows, so I, I haven't seen probably as much progress. Um, but yeah, I'm really going to focus on that purple one because once that's done, I probably... I might get rid of the palette. One thing I've also been focusing on a bit, this was in my sort of overnight bag, um, but my MAC eyeshadow in Lorelei, I had this in my MAC project pan. Now I hit pound it in that, and now I actually repressed it and I'm nearly done with it. So there is sometimes when I just want a quick eyeshadow look, I just reach for this, even though it's not technically in my project pan, um, I just want to use this up. So I might reintroduce this into my project pan because again, I've repressed it so it's a lot looser pressed. So yeah, I'm gonna add this in and keep using this and probably just focus on the purple shade in this and using up this by the end of the year. And I think that's pretty much gonna be it or most of what I can manage. Also doing that would pair really nicely over this product. So for example, if I was to take um, that purple shade, which is called Surfboard, have that brown in the crease and then that surfboard shade over the top and bam, that's just a nice sort of everyday shimmer and matte look, really simple, really flattering. And that's sort of what I like to do on a daily basis. So that's gonna be my more narrow focus. Another thing that I haven't had much progress with, I think I've used this like three or four times, is my giant Marc Jacobs bronzer. Like to be fair, it's giant and I'm not gonna hit pan on it until probably summer. Um, we've just started spring, so we're getting into the warmer weather and I'll be able to bronze more. But at the moment, this is like, there's gonna be no progress for quite some time. So uh, yeah, I'll take photos, but I don't think there's much to compare. Uh, what I'm actually thinking of adding in, and I don't know if this is too 
optimistic. Um, I've got the Kevin Kwan. This is the Neo Highlighter in Sahara. So it's the Golden Rose Glow. Essentially, it's an ombre highlighter product. So it goes from a lighter highlighter to more of a rose gold one to more of a bronze. I actually quite like using the rosy bronze section as a bronzer because even though it's a highlighter, um, it's just very subtle and the tone suits me a lot better in the cooler months and with my fairer skin than a traditional matte bronzer. So I'm actually thinking of introducing this temporarily because yeah, you can get that sort of bronzed. Oh, maybe I'll put it on my arm so you can see it a bit better. So you can get like a slight bronzed look and it adds a bit of a glow, not, nothing sparkly, nothing too glowy. Um, it's just like a satin effect. So it adds a bit of like luminosity to the skin um, and a bit of bronze. So I think I might actually introduce this into the project as well, because this is a product that I'm more inclined to reach for um, until it is a lot warmer and I have slightly deeper skin. This is just more suitable for me at the moment. So. I'm thinking of introducing this. Last few things, um, I've got my ColourPop eyeliner. I know I've made progress on this. I've got very little left. Uh, that's wound up all the way. So I'll have a comparison uh, shot on the screen. Um, and I this is probably a month's worth of usage. So um, I am gonna keep using this. I've got a whole drawer full of eyeliners that I'm ready to use. Um, so as soon as this one's done, I'll start looking for an alternative. I'm still going with my Benefit Cabral. I still use it. Um, I don't use it every day. But there is some, like the chunk in there sort of cracked in half and um, there's a, a slightly different shape now. So I'll have a comparison photos of that on the screen because that's hard to see, but we're still going there. And lastly, my two MAC lipsticks, I want these done by the end of the year. I want them done. I have been using them quite a lot. That's MAC Velvet Teddy. Um, I've been keeping these in my handbag. This is MAC Lady Danger. Uh, I'm not wearing it today, but I should be. So let's put it over the top. Uh, you can see it's a lot more red than what I'm currently wearing, which is an orange tone. I love this though. I wear this. I've been wearing this a lot. Oh, it's such a good color. Um, but yeah, I'll have comparisons on the screen of where this was up to last month. I've been trying to ramp up my usage of these in the last month um, because I was making such little progress. I don't know if we're going to see like an obvious change, but... I've been using them. I've been using one or the other every other day. So there's been a lot of lip gloss days, but when I'm wearing a lipstick, it's generally one of these. So I'm trying, I'm trying to make it work. I want it done by the end of the year, both of them. So a few products finished, um, a bit of a shuffle around because again, I'm sort of, I just want to use things that I enjoy. Um, and I, I'm at a stage where I'm just really willing to let go of stuff that I just am not loving despite me being able to technically use them um, but my main focus over the next month I think I really want to whittle down some of those lipsticks and I really want to make a good um, indent or at least try to finish up this purple shade in this palette because I don't love this palette I really don't and the only thing that's tying me to this palette is that beautiful purple shade um, and so once I've used it and I've enjoyed it and it is done um I'm, i i want that gone so those are sort of my main focuses on the next month i really want to see progress in the colored makeup areas all right if you're doing a project pan let me know how you're going is there anything that you're really going to focus on over the next month because you're just sick of using them or you just you just want to see some good progress um i'd love to know i'd also like to thank my channel members for helping me out with my channel and i will see you all in the next one bye